going to do a real quick tutorial on how to get this really cool looking marble print on a uh, 3D print. In Blender, I have designed this uh, really simple phone stand. And to get started, we're going to add a mesh and a UV sphere. With the Move tool selected, we are going to come over and drag it up just a little bit. And we're going to hit S to scale, and we're going to scale this up right about there. And then kind of move it uh, just to get it in the middle of the print. Then I'm going to hit edit to get into edit mode and then I'm going to right click and subdivide and subdivide. This gives it a lot more texture. Then we're going to hit edit again, come over to this little panel with the wrench, click add modifier, deform and displace. And then we're going to click new texture right there and then go down to the texture button, come over here to this drop down and pick marble. And it's going to give us uh, this. To make this look a lot less jagged, over here under the properties, uh, you can take this size and uh, mess with it until you get something you like, and then just hit S to scale again and scale it up through the model. Also mess with the turbulence by clicking in here and you can kind of scroll by moving left to right while holding the right or left mouse button, but you can also change the turbulence to get something that uh, you quite like. I actually quite like that. So let's. Uh, I was gonna say move on to the next part, but yeah, let's move on to the next part. Okay, next you're gonna hit Shift D to duplicate the UV sphere and then just click to unselect it without moving it. You're gonna hide that UV sphere for a second, go back to the first one, and then under the modifiers tab, we're going to want to apply the displace. So Control A will apply the uh, displace modifier. And then we're going to go into here and go generate Boolean and we want to make sure we click intersect, go down to solve our options, make sure self intersection is on. And then we want to click the cube and this is going to take a few minutes and then it will perform the Boolean. I shouldn't have said a few minutes because it uh, finished just as I was hitting the stop record button. If you are happy with how it looks, we're going to do the same thing over here and hit control A to uh, apply the Boolean. I was going to say it could take a little bit, uh, but it finished just as I was uh, hitting the stop record button again. Then we are going to select the original phone stand, go over to uh, the modifiers tab, do generate boolean, and then we're going to do uh, sphere one. And then it will uh, cut out all of the original sphere, leaving you with two parts. You have uh, the original phone stand cube, and then you have the original sphere, which is the marbling pattern. Okay, and then to export, you're gonna to wanna to select uh, whichever one you're exporting. Over in File, go to Export STL. This props up, you're gonna to want to make sure you hit Selection Only. And then just export both of them, separate times. And then in your slicer of choice, you're just going to want to import the models. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that they uh, are loaded with multiple parts, so yes. And there we have our phone stand. I am obviously changing the color so that we can get it and I've got it backwards, but uh, yeah, there's the phone stand. Obviously this one looks a little bit different than this one. In fact, I kind of like it because it looks like it's got a face almost. Uh, but yeah, this can be done multiple times to give you different patterns. All you have to do is uh, mess with a few of the settings. On bigger uh, projects or files, it may take a lot longer. It may crash your computer or blender because it crashed blender for me a bunch. These were printed on their side uh, with no purge tower and 0.5% flushing volumes and minus a little bit of maybe black streaking through, which in fairness, it is marble, so it kind of adds to the effect. They came out really nice, especially for black and white. Let me know what you think of this type of tutorial because I would love to do more and would also love uh, any advice or tips or tricks to uh, make these a little bit more watchable or anything like that. But yeah, let me know what you think. And last thing, I will be putting this up on uh, probably both of them up on uh, printables here soon, possibly uh, Maker's World as well. Uh, and I will include the original blend files both pre and post uh, making the marble pattern.